7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Match du Vulcan. Allumage, EAP et décollage. And we are off. Ariane 5 is blazing a trail across the equatorial skies. And there we see her. She's come out from the other side of the clouds, powering her way into space, heading east, out over the Atlantic Ocean. We've broken the sound barrier, Mac 1. We're traveling faster than the speed of sound. La trajectoire est nominale. And we can just hear the sound of Ariane now coming to us here at the Jupiter Control Center overhead. Thundering. Overhead. Right now the boosters are doing all the work. They are providing 90% of our thrust. That's the equivalent of 12 jet engines. La trajectoire est nominale. Boosters are pushing us away from Earth's gravity. And we, we need a lot of firepower to do that. Each booster is burning two tons of propellant per second. That's what an, uh, what an average car uses in a year. The range operations manager is telling us that everything's going normally, as expected. So, Intelsat Connect and GSAT 30 have started their journey. Bottom left hand side of the screen, our altitude, we're presently 55 kilometers above the Earth. Getting close now to the moment when we release the boosters, and we might even see that with the naked eye. Here we go. Separation des EAP. That's what it looks like from space when we had cameras on a previous launch. And we can see the two boosters moving away. They have used their propellant. They've burnt it all up and we don't need them anymore. They are falling back to Earth in a very specific pattern to ensure collision avoidance. So the dot in the middle is the Vulcan engine. That's our... Our launcher and the two dots on either side are the boosters. That's the main stage engine powering its way away from us, powering its way into space. 